everyone, what is up and welcome back to Sam Phil's Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories Guide. Well, I can't really say what part this would be. I mean, this is technically part two, but this uh, thing that I'm going to do is going to be a strand of videos because what I'm going to do is instead of continuing on with the main story missions, I'm actually going to start with all the side missions that we can accomplish at this time. Um, every Grand Theft Auto game has a lot of side missions that you uh, can complete to build up your stats, like weapons or health, armor, um, stamina, all that stuff. Uh, and it's best to get them done as quickly as possible. Now, you do not need to... Um, if you do not want to, but as you know, I'm always going for a hundred percent on every game I do. Uh, I know Silent Hill wasn't really a hundred percent, but that was just the first run that I did. That was kind of for beginners. Uh, the, like I said, the 10 star run that I'm going to do much later on. And I don't know, whenever, uh, it's going to be my hundred percent run anyway, off subject. Sorry. Uh, so, yeah, we are going to continue with that. Uh, what we're going to actually work on right now for this round of videos uh, is the 99 Red Balloons. Now, there is a story behind it. I do not really quite remember it, uh, the reason for the 99 Red Balloons, but there's actually also a song for it, which actually was in the original Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Uh, there's 99 Luft Balloons or something like that, however you pronounce it. Nah, you know... Like ninety nine left balloons, blah 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 blah. blah. Uh, you you probably remember it, <laughs> uh, but okay. So high throughout the city are ninety nine red balloons that you must pop with the bullet. Each balloon will give you two hundred and fifty dollars, and every ten you pop, with the exception uh, for the last one being nine, you will unlock a new respawnable weapon at your main story safe house. Uh, now right now forty five can be popped at this time. And, of course, this here is our main story safe house, and the weapons will respawn outside it. Uh, I'll show you kind of the location. So, first, let's go ahead and grab the pistol again, just to uh, build up the ammo a little bit. Uh, go outside. And, uh, right here, oh, follow the Sergeant Stripes blip on your radar to find Sarge, uh, Martinez's billet. B I L L E T billet. What's a billet? I don't know. Anyway, I use the right analog stick to look around. I don't know. I, it's kind of obvious, but yeah. Anyway, the respawnable weapons will appear along the side of the building once you unlock them. Uh, to sprint, hold X while running. You will tire after sprinting for a short time. You can hold X or tap X. Uh, tapping X usually you f I found is better because it doesn't use as much sprint time, you uh, have a little longer time to sprint, I guess you could say. Anyway, first balloon. Go <clears throat> south to this uh, wall, and once you reach it, go east to the corner, and you'll see this guard tower. Uh, go ahead and take out your pistol, and as it says, you can use L2 and R2 to scroll through your weapons. Uh, well, you can use the M16 or the pistol. I'll go ahead and use the pistol right now. Uh, and hold down... L3, uh, or which is the left analog stick, just click it, hold it, and then while you're holding it, hold R1, and you'll go into manual aim. So, then you can let go of the L3 button, of course. Anyway, once that's done, uh, get, or aim up, you know, with the left stick, and you'll see the first balloon, tap O to fire, and you will pop it. So after that, head north, and uh, there is a health pickup right here. If you had happened to lose your some health for whatever reason, uh, you can go ahead and get that if you need it. But go ahead and continue north. Yeah, see, his sprint does not last long at all. Ow. Sorry, I had to take my headphones out. They're those. I have those headphones that... Uh, you have to put it inside your ears, and after a while, they start to hurt your ears on the inside because, I guess, the pressure. Uh, it sucks. Anyway, so, yeah, we're going north, and even though <clears throat> you see this blimp right here, which is uh, starts the second mission, the main story mission, uh, we're going to skip that, and we're going to actually take the bike. 
that you took from the first mission. Oh, wait. On the back, you can shift your uh, weight using the left analog stick. Oh, I have to turn the radio off. Okay. You can change the radio stations you've uh, tuned into with L1. Uh, hold on, I have to put the headphones back in. Okay. Uh, you use L2 button, R2 button to look around or press them both at the same time to look behind you. And it's kind of like your rear view mirrors in a way, I guess. So, uh, of course, triangle to get on the vehicle or in and out of a vehicle or on or off a vehicle in this case, I guess. Uh, X to go forward, square to break and go back. Um, oh, can't really do anything yet. I'll show you what that's for later on. Uh, R1 is for your emergency brake. That's to do like quick turns and stuff. Uh, yeah, I think it's about it. Oh, wait. Sorry. Wrong one. Oh. Okay, listen Weather to this. Forecasters are predicting a stormy time ahead for Vice City as Hurricane Gordy threatens to make landfall in the South Keys. City officials have taken the usual precautionary measure of closing all bridges from the mainland to Ocean Beach and Vice Point, and all flights to and from Escobar International Airport have been halted until further notice. For more news updates, stay tuned to Vice News Network. All right. So, yeah, that's usually what happens all the time is that, uh, like with a lot of these Gunstall games, is that's the reason why you can't go over to the next island, which is, let me show you, real quick, uh, this main island right here, or the, the more uh, luxurious island, I guess. Uh, I know there's a main name for it, I just, it slipped my mind, but anyway, you cannot go over here right now, you can only uh, go into uh, this part right here, the western island. <clears throat> anyway, so after that, go over here to the garage and get off, get your uh, M16 manual aim up, and you'll see this uh, satellite tower. Underneath this white circle here, you'll see a little red dot, aim, fire, and you'll get the second red balloon. After that, go ahead and head out. Follow the road right and down again, like last time. And once again, uh, before the road uh, goes down, drift left onto the black tarmac. But before jumping off, get off your bike. Manual aim up. And there will be another red balloon sort of kind of near the corner of this building. Shoot it and you'll get 3 out of 99. So after that... Go east and then south again, cross the bridge, <coughs> and then go southeast towards the main uh, terminal building here with the pink light trimming. The fluorescent light trimming, I guess. The Escobar International Airport. Escobar? Escobedo. Should be Escobedo. <laughs> anyway, go over here to this uh, security gate. Now, just to let you know that once you pass through, your weapons will be taken away. You know, they'll take away any weapons you're carrying and place them outside. So, your weapons will be right there. So, you have no weapons. And there is a red balloon in here. So, how are you supposed to get it? I'll show you that in just a moment. First, head up the stairs and go into the, I guess it would be the furthest right uh, terminal gate, which is gates 9 through 14. Uh, go down this gate and just to the right will be some armor wearing body armor will protect you from some damage while it lasts so now we have full armor and full health yay hmm. all right now what we're gonna do uh, the way we're gonna get this balloon is we actually have to look for a security guard inside the, uh, the building Let's see here. And security guards are wearing, uh, they're like, what is it, a blue uniform, I guess. Move, move, move. You broke my hip, asshole. Uh, anyway, they're wearing a, okay, your health is represented 
by the pink bar in the corner of the screen. When it reaches zero, you pass out. So, of course, don't let your health reach zero. And it says you pass out, but they call it wasted, so it's pretty much like dying. Uh, but then again, you get resurrected at the hospital. Yeah, okay, let's see here. Security guard. But yeah, they wear blue uniforms with, uh, I guess they have these kind of white stripes along the side of them, and they wear like a security cap, I guess you could say. Uh, the reason why we're looking for one is because we are, here we go, we are going to need to kill one. Uh, we cannot kill him. Now, the reason why is because look at his hands. You'll see he's actually not carrying a weapon. Uh, what we need to do is find a security guard that is carrying a pistol, and you'll be able to tell by looking at their hand and see if they're carrying a weapon or not. He is not. So we're going to have to find a different one. Uh, let's see here. Uh, hmm. Oh, here's another one. Is he carrying a... Yep. See, look at his right hand. I get... Oh, well, okay. He is carrying a uh, pistol, so go get up to him. Quickly do the neck snap. Grab the pistol. Quickly come over here to the, uh, what would it be, the second set of stairs from the left if you're facing the big window. Two ships passing in the and then night. aim up. And you'll get the fourth balloon. So after that, go ahead and uh, head back out the gate you came in from. See here. Now, of course, you probably would have collected some pistol ammo uh, before then, but uh, since you had the one from the inside, your uh, ammo re uh, re starts from the beginning. So, because whenever you go through the security gate, the pistol you got from the inside replaces the one that you had previously. So, yeah. Anyway, after that, head east. Sun is bright, and then you'll see this gate, head through the gate, and then head uh, southeast, and slightly straight ahead, watch out for the light post, uh, it's kind of hard to see, there we go, yeah, the lighting on this game isn't very good, uh, it kind of sucks, but anyway, you'll see these two ramps, underneath the tallest ramp will be the next red balloon, pop it, then continuing southeast, Uh, you'll see this other uh, opening here, but instead continue south from that opening underneath this big awning roof thing. And in the southeast corner, you'll see the sixth balloon. So after that, go ahead and head out the opening you've just passed and go north. And then can, at the end, continue following the road east and stop right about here. You'll see this big hotel right ahead of you with this palm tree right at the corner. Get your M16 out, aim up, and you will see this uh, red balloon in the trees. Aim and fire for the seventh balloon. So after that, we are going to head south. And you'll see th this little icon to the left of me on the radar. Uh, it looks like a spray can. That is a spray and, spray and pay. So if you uh, get a wanted level that you can't get rid of, just uh, take your vehicle into the spray and pay, and they will uh, fix you up and possibly get rid of your wanted level. So if you need a health, go ahead and get this health. It is in this lot uh, heading east. If you well, like, you know what? I do kind of need a health. Uh, I mean, I know my health isn't that low, but I did kind of lose some whenever I dropped from that. Uh, second floor deal so to get, get it you have to get off your vehicle or out of your vehicle to pick up a weapon or health or armor or whatever it is okay the reason reason why we have a motorcycle uh, yes you do need a motorcycle but the reason why we have a motorcycle is uh, once you reach this road head up these stairs now if you happen to lose this motorcycle for whatever reason you do need a fast motorcycle so either this one or a PCJ 600 would probably do good 